God certainly doesn't come to prove he or she is God. What do they have to gain from that? The gain is in enlightening you, is it not? The benefit is to us, is it not? Why will we come here and why will God come to meet us? Life is not accident. A dog's life may be circumstantial and end the way it starts, but surely, if nothing else, masters have shown human being existence carries more, but we are still given the option to take it as less. And we wonder why bad things happen to good people. The Vedagamic truth is, you created it. You are the creator. You are that. But the masters come as the embodiment of truth, not just a passing thought. They come as compassion and out of compassion for you and me. Me, you. The very measure of a great incarnation is that he ruffles feathers. Demons take notice and get uprooted. This naturally causes uproar. Come on, wake up. If there are no disturbances, then it is just comfortable trekking. When did staying comfortable ever make benefit for anyone? Luxury is the worst enemy of a strong nervous system, strong body, and independent intelligence. All the masters did great things, had spiritual powers. What is this about not having powers? That we should not become more than confused humans? Why? A dog eats, sleeps, and exports also. Then what is the difference? All masters had superpowers. That's why we call them masters. Paramahamsa Yogananda, Bhogar, Satya Sai Baba, Ramana Rishi, Bhagavan Ramakrishna, Buddha, Lord Ram, Sri Krishna. Come on, it's settled. All the masters must do something great. They must achieve extraordinary and express the impossible. It is never heard of for Hindus to be afraid of spiritual powers. It is not that ignorant. Ramana Marishi sat until rats ate the body. Buddha sat until nothing was left. Anamale Swamigal sat in the garden across the fence from his guru's home, but never to see his guru again, not for as long as he lived, because his guru told him to sit, and so he sat. The logic is clear, the sacrifice is divine, the goal is ultimate. O oh, Hindus, wake up! The history of Hinduism is miracles. Spiritual powers doing the impossible, that's what it is. That's why people know about it. Because all the great masters did great things and taught people about it, and the demons didn't like it. It's about living what we feel is impossible. Oh, Hindus, stand up. Live the future you want for your grandchildren. Tell them what it is now. Show them how. If you feel responsibility is a power, you make your life successful.